so today guys we are going to discuss our next topic is that is extended euclidean algorithm uh, this algorithm is an extension of euclid's algorithm as we know that, that the euclid's algorithm is used to find the gcd of any two positive integer in the similar manner we have uh, we have this algorithm to find the inverse okay of u mod v if we have to find the inverse of u mod v, then we can use extended Euclid algorithm. So, if we have to find the u inverse of this number that is u mod v, then we can write it as u inverse mod v. Okay. So, this part is uh, or you can say that this algorithm is implemented in the RSA algorithm when you have to find such type of equation that is u inverse mod v, then at that moment you can use this algorithm. It, the most important part is that it returns either inverse, either the inverse of a positive integer or we can say either the inverse as a positive integer, positive integer which is less than, which is less than this v, this v, okay or the second part is or we, it either returns as 0 in which it means that no inverse exists, no inverse exists. Okay, so these are the two conditions for this algorithm. If we have, uh, if the algorithm returns some uh, positive integer which is less than v, then it, this, that means that u inverse mod, mod v have an inverse value. But if it returns 0, then it means that u inverse mod v have no inverse exist. So, to uh, solve one problem on uh, extended Euclid algorithm, first of all, we will discuss what is the algorithm. Uh, that algorithm is look like this. This is the algorithm which is uh, known as extended Euclid algorithm. In this, we for initially, we have some parameters like in INV that is inverse u1 u3, v1, v3, t1, t3 and q and one value when parameter is called iteration that is i, t, e, r. Now the sub step one is for the standard Euclid algorithm that that we have to initialize some value like this means u u1 is equal to 1, u3 equal to u, v1 equal to 0, v3 equal to v and iteration equal to 1. What is u and v? The u and v is a value that we have to calculate for the inverse. So, for example, uh, suppose if you have to find out the inverse of 37 mod 49, okay. So, can be uh, solved by extended Euclid algorithm because this is a look like that u inverse mod v. So, this means that we have a u equals to 37 and v equals to equal to 49 and the remaining initialized value is look like this means in the initialization according to the step 1 u1 equals to 1 here okay v1 equals to 0 here and the it initially the iteration will be 1. So, this is the step 1 then in which we have to initialize some parameters like u, v, u1, v1 and iteration. Okay. Now, the step 2 is this is step 2 that we have to check or we have to apply a loop that is a while loop until and unless that v3 is not equal to 0. So, here what is v3? This is u and this is v. So, what is u in, uh, in the step 1? u3 equals to u so this means u3 becomes 37 and v3 equals to v, v then this means that v3 equals to 49. Now this loop will be checked that whether v3 is not equal to 0 if this is condition applied then we have moved to the step 3. So now check whether v3 is not equal to 0 yes because v3 having a value 49. So this means the we can move to the step 2. So the first part step 1 this is or we can say first iteration okay or we can say step 1. So, we have to calculate some value according to the step 3 and the value will be q equals to q is a quotient. So, q equals to u3 divided by v3, t3 equals to u3 mod v3 and t1 equals to u1 plus q into v1. According to the step 3 and the first iteration is q equals to u3 divided by v3. This means that 49 u3 uh, sorry uh, u3 is 37 and v3 is 49 so this means 37 divided by 49 it comes out to be what is the question question will be 0 okay then t3 is equals to u3 mod v3 
This means when we divide 37 mod 49, the remainder will be 37 here. Okay. And the what is T1? T1 is calculated as U1 plus Q into V1. So, what is U1 here? U1, uh, see, U1 is 1, quotient is 0. And what is V1? V1 is equals to 0. So, this means that 1 plus 0 into 0, it comes out to be 1 plus 0 and equals to 1. So, Q is equals to quotient is 0 in the first iteration. The remainder will be 37 that is T3 and T1 equals to 1 here. Okay. So, this and the after this step 3, then we have to swap the sum value. Swapping, we have to swap U1 with V1, V1 with T1. U3 with T V3, V3 with T3 and iteration equals to minus iteration. Initially, the iteration value is equals to 1. But after swapping means if we after first iteration, if we swap first time, then this means U1 is swapped with V1 value. Now, U1 is having a V1 value. What is a V1 value? Check it out. V1 is 0. So, this becomes U1. Okay. Then see V1 is swap with T1 value. So V1 value is uh, swap with T1. What is the new value of T1? That is 1. So V1 becomes 1 here. Okay. Then U3. U3 is swap with V3. So U3 becomes what is the value of V3? V3 is right now we having a value V3 is 49. So this becomes U3. So U3 becomes 49. Okay. Then we have to swap uh, V3 with T3. So V3 is equal to T3. T3 is equal to 37. And the iteration value, iteration value becomes minus iteration. So this becomes minus 1. So after first iteration and after first swapping, the Q, the quotient value will be 0. Remainder will be 37. T1 equals to 1. And after swapping, U1 becomes 0, V1 equal to 1, U3 become 49, V3 become 37 and iteration becomes minus 1. Again, we check for the while condition that V3 is not equal to 0. See here, V3 is equal to 37. So, this means that we again we move to the step 3, means divide and subtract uh, step and then we again swap. So, in the next iteration or we can say in the step 2, that is the second iteration or we can call this as iteration iteration 1 and this become iteration iteration 2 this is iteration 2 so for according to the step 2 uh, iteration 2 now again we have to calculate value of q so q becomes u3 divided by v3 so u3 is 30 uh, 49 and v3 is 37 so 49 divided by 37 the quotient will become 1 here okay then t3 is u3 percent v3 or we can say u3 mod v3. So, it means when we divide 49 with 37, then the remainder will be 1 here. Okay. Then we calculate the value of t1 according to the formula that is u1 plus q into v1. So, this becomes 0 plus 0 plus 1 into 1 and it becomes 1 here. Okay. And then swap 2 will become uh, u1 will be swap with v1 value. So, u1 becomes 1. Okay. Then V1 is swapped with T1 value. So, V1 becomes T1 that is T1 is 1 here. So, V1 becomes 1. Then U3 is swapped with V3. So, what is the value of V3 right now? V3 having a value 37. So, this becomes U3. And uh, then after this, uh, sorry, the value of V1. V1 is Again, we have to calculate. Uh, I think there will be a mistake in the value of T3. Sorry. So, here T3 is equals to 49 percent 37. It comes out the remainder will be 12 here. So, this means the value of T3 is 12. So, this becomes uh, V3 equal to 12 here. And then the iteration value will be again swap with minus iteration. So, right now we have iteration value is minus 1. So, this means this means that the iteration value becomes again 1. So, this is the iteration number 2 and after swapping uh, in the iteration 2, the u1 becomes 1, v1 becomes 1, u3 becomes 37, v3 becomes 12 and iteration is equals to 1. Again, we have to check that the while condition is uh, fulfilled or not, that v3 is not equal to 0. See, v3 is here, v3 is equals to 12. 
this is v3 is equals to 12. So, again we have to move to the step 3 and we have to calculate the value of quotient that is q t3 and t1 means we have to move to the third iteration. So, according to the third iteration or third iteration the value of q becomes u3 divided by v3. So, this is 37 divided by 12 it becomes uh, 3 then we have to calculate the value of t3. So, this becomes u3 mod v3. So, this becomes 37 percent 12. So, the remainder will be 1. Then we have to calculate the value of t1. t1 is equals to what, what the value of uh, t1 is? 1 plus 3 into 1 it comes out to be 4 and the now again we have to swap. So, this is a swap for the third time. So, this becomes this means that we have u1 equals to 1 here after swapping v1 equals to 4 then u3 is equals to 12 v3 is equals to 4, 1 and the iteration becomes again negative value. Okay. Again we have to check that v3 is not equal to 0. So, this means that we again have to iterate 4 times. So, iteration 4 becomes so, we have to calculate the value of uh, q here. So, q becomes u3 by v3. So, this becomes 12 by 1 that is the quotient will be 12 here. Then t3 is equals to u3 mod v3. So, this means that 12 mod 1 that is 0 and then we calculate the value of t1. t1 becomes 1 plus 12 into 4 that is 49 and the again we have to swap 4 times. So, for the value of 4 times swap equal value the u1 becomes 4 here ok. Then v1 becomes 49, u3 becomes 1 and v3 becomes 0 and the iteration will become 1. Now, again we check for the while condition that v3 is equals to 0, yes. So, this means when we get the v3 equals to 0, this means we do not move to the step 3. Now, we have to move further. So, I see here for then after the step 3 move, now we are check whether u3 is not equal to 1. If this condition lie, so then it, the algorithm returns 0. 0 means that there is an error and no inverse exists. If this condition does not lie, then we then we check that at, at that particular time what is the value of iteration. If the iteration value is less than 0 then it returns inverse equal to v minus u1 else inverse equals to u1 and return inverse. So, first we for this part we have to check whether the uh, current uh, value of u3 is not equal to 1 or, no, 1 or not. So, see here what is the value of u3? u3 is what is the value of u3? u3 is 1. So, this means we this means that there is no error. So, we have to move uh, again we have to check that if iteration value if iteration value is less than 0 or not. Now, right now the iteration value is 1. So, this means that we move we do not move to the if part. So, we move to the else part. So, what is the else part here? See here uh, just one second. What is the else part? Else part will 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 be inverse equal to u1 means the value of u1 is equal to the inverse value and it returns the algorithm returns this inverse value. So, this means this means the else part will become inverse will become u1. So, see here what is the value of u1 right now the u1 value is 4 here. So, inverse is equals to 4 and the algorithm returns returns 4 as an inverse value for the inverse value for this particular example means 37 mod 49 the inverse value for this is 4 the answer is 4 according to this extended Euclid algorithm. Okay, So, this is how we implement extended Euclid algorithm to calculate the inverse of any u mod v type of function. So, you can solve one more problem that is 15 inverse mod 20 and if you implement this algorithm that is extended Euclid algorithm uh, to solve this 15 inverse mod 20 then the answer will be 0 means there is no inverse exist, no inverse exist. Okay. So, you can try this problem uh, by your own and if you have any query then you can ask in our comment section. So, keep watching our video. Thank you so much.